Our latest venture really is supporting our most needy earliest learners. We had five different sites for our students and they could change sites from year to year. Those transitions weren't good for our kids. Our Board of Education supported the concept of building a school specifically to meet the needs of our kids and to be more efficient with our staffing. We're very fortunate to have staff to participate in a series of workshops with the architects. We wanted to make sure that we were incorporating the perspectives of the different service staff and classroom teachers so we could really address the whole child. I think Leggett has been responsive. You know, I think they've really spent the time to listen to us, to hear our requests. Together, I think we designed, I believe, one of the best facilities in the country. The space allows us to think outside of how we normally would have addressed students' needs in the past. By providing our students with a state-of-the-art facility, we're really allowing our students in this district to see what school can be like. It should be interesting, it should be creative, it should address all of their needs. Our Early Learning Center services about 200 of our neediest students. In the end, this space was a game changer for us. If kids have the right mindset early on about school, their chances of being successful significantly increase. One of the great pieces about it is how it reflects children. They really get the feel that this is my place, I feel good about it, I want to be here. Attitudes of not only our students and staff, but our parents have incredibly changed. I have a son who's four years old, and it was hard to get him out of the car to get that separation anxiety. But there's this little blue door in the front, and it's small, and it's perfect for three, four, and five-year-olds, and that really helped because it wasn't a big building and a big door. And the small little bathrooms, the lower toilet seats, the lower sinks, it's eye level to the children and that helps. This space really has provided more opportunities just by the design, you know, with the spaces outside of the classroom. The playground is great. It's safe, it's soft, and it builds up his confidence. The extended learning gardens, we're so fortunate to have those spaces. We've got sensory, children can play in water and sand and feel plants and smell them. We have the nature garden where students can plant various plants and vegetables and learn about the growing process. And then we have the fine arts garden where children can thoroughly explore the creative process through singing and acting and dancing. With the outdoor play area, the indoor play areas, and then the different learning gardens and spaces that we have have enhanced our ability to use fun and play in combination with learning. At this age, children learn through their play. And that is how they learn about the world around them. That's how their language develops. That's how their brain develops critical thinking skills and problem solving. That's very critical work. Truly gets them passionate about wanting to be at school. Quite frankly, our kids don't want to leave at the end of the day. I mean, they like this space so much. I could not imagine him being anywhere else except for here. He's very excited and he uses the word love a lot. You know, I can't really believe that this building turned out the way that it did. You know, it exceeded any expectations that I had.